I'm a writer, I'm a translator, uh, I do occasional journalism. Um, the book is called Grey Cats. Uh, it's set in Paris at night uh, and it's essentially the story of a young man who wakes up in bed uh, and his girlfriend is not there. And as he knows she's a habitual nighttime wanderer, he sets off into the streets of Paris to look for her. And the book is basically a, a picaresque descent into, into the Parisian night. Well, first of all, I think the first thing it's meant for me over the last six months is quite a lot of sleepless nights waiting for the, uh, waiting for the various results. But um, in, in all seriousness, uh, when I heard about the prize, uh, I really saw it as an opportunity because um, sometimes I think a lot of writers have difficulty finishing things, particularly young writers. And the advantage of the, the prize was that there was a deadline, there was a word limit, and it gave me a certain frame that um, was useful for me to, uh, to get this piece done. It was, also, um, it was also good for the story because I'd had this idea turning around my head for some time and I hadn't been working on it because I didn't really consider there to be a market for the novella um, and I was hoping to get something published so uh, this story was kind of on the back burner but it kept coming back to me and I kept thinking, you know, I really, I really would like to write this piece. So when I saw the Shakespeare and Company were running this prize, that um, struck me as the perfect opportunity to, um, to work on this book, to complete this book and see, uh, see what happened. Going forward, well, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I would love it if the book could be published. Um, I mean, it's the dream of every writer to, to, see, to, see, their, to see their words between two, uh, between two covers. But... Um, uh, I hope it will be an opportunity. I hope it will open some doors um, because from my understanding of it, the publishing world can be quite closed, can be quite difficult to enter. And with the, uh, with the reputation of Shakespeare and Company and with the reputation of the judges, um, I hope that maybe in the future when, um, when I try to get Grey Cats published or uh, also the, the novel I've also been working on for, for several years, that maybe it, will, um, maybe it will open some doors for me. Um, I think one of the things was maybe is a little different for, for me than a lot of writers, is that a lot of my composition is done standing up, is done walking around, is done often not in my apartment at all, in fact. Um, I often find that the, the best ideas come to me when I'm walking around Paris, uh, when I don't have a notebook, I don't have a pencil, and it's kind of a race against time to get home before, uh, before the idea or before the sentence uh, disappears from my head. So I guess that's the, the one thing that maybe sets me apart. <laughs>